Hello everyone, Kevil here once again, and we're not slowing down one bit. We're gonna take on Magna Centipede. He defends the central computer with his magnetic abilities. Does anyone else find the irony in that? He's a magnet who defends a computer. Uh, whatever. I... Capcom, you can rationalize that however you want, but I don't think it makes any sense. Also note that the room behind us is where the X-Hunters were uh, spying on X, and it's also where the final battle with Sigma will take place. Oh, did I say that out loud? You're sp not supposed to know it's Sigma. Oh well. These are barrier attackers. Hit them with a dash shot or a charge shot, just like Disc Boys, and their shields will break, just like Disc Boys. They are related to an old classic series enemy, just like Disc Boys, except theirs is the shield attacker. Oh, come on. They're vulnerable from the back, and... Seriously? There we go. Now, normally these spotlights you want to avoid, but this one... Why bother? The Bleckers, that's what they're called, will shoot you, but not after a little while, and you can usually get past that, no problem. These are called installers. They always fall in the same pattern, so if you know where they're coming from, they're no issue. Whoa! Okay, there we go. You want to wait for that one at least once. And, small bit of slowdown, but, uh, whatever. Hopefully that doesn't come up in the recording. I lagged for a moment. This is Chop Register, a holographic weapon sword, clearly, wireframe, with two attacks. Here's his easier one. He'll go down to your level, and then slash at you. Well, lunge, really. And he did it again. Here's his other attack, which you probably won't see, because he's about to die. There we go, yeah. He will do that same pattern, except he'll slowly move towards you, and then he'll either spin or lunge at you again. Hang right, and then go middle, and then to the right. Or left, sorry. And then avoid the heck out of these guys. If you haven't been caught by a spotlight, they fall pretty slowly, and you just have to dash past them. Hit the wall, and they'll all disappear. Also, if you notice those scanners, they are directly related to this guy, Radar Killer. Radar Killer has only two attacks if you haven't been scanned. It goes up if you have, though. When, you ha when he hasn't been scanned, this is all you, you do. Uh, when you haven't been scanned, this is all he does. Very easy pattern. If you've been scanned once, he turns blue, and he will fire blasts upward as well as straight forward. If you're scanned twice, he also will randomly just jump at you without firing a beam first. Uh, he turns red when that happens, and I honestly do not remember what happens if he's if you're scanned three times, but I vaguely recall he turns a bright pink, similar to his blasts. It's been a way long time since I've been scanned three times, like the years ago, not even these perfect runs. Oh look, we've been detected. Caution of the Bleckers. And the falling floor, as well as the installers. Not too much to worry about, though. Just dash through all that, and you're good. And on to Magna Centipede. He used to be in the special Zero unit along with X and Zero, but he was brainwashed, poor guy. There's always a Maverick who doesn't really want it. He doesn't really want to become one. He'll always teleport to one of the four corners. Kind of corner. It's kind of the middle side, but... He'll never go in the middle, and he'll never go in the very far corner. Whoa! And those are his shurikens. <laughs> as well as his ability to jump at you. He can also jump from the top to the bottom. Or the bottom to the top. Oh, there's one of his attacks. His scorpion tail will try and catch you. It'll always stop before it hits you, though. And that's when you want to avoid. When he's at half health, he'll launch off three of them instead of just two. A little harder to avoid, but not too much more difficult. And he's doing it again. Okay. That's fine with me. He's almost down. Let's hope this doesn't end up with a mistake. Okay, now he's going to launch three at me, which makes it a little bit harder to avoid. But I made it. So no problem. Oh, come on. He's now going to probably try magnetizing me. Oh, he didn't. Okay. Now he's doing it. If this happens, you can't actually avoid it. I mean, you can dash away if you want. It's kind of hard, but like that. If you dash, then he'll have a harder time grabbing you. And he's down. Whew, finally. This has been a kind of difficult fight. More the stage than the boss. 
about his venom. It will first make it so you cannot charge, doesn't affect me at all. Then it'll make you shoot slower. Then it'll make it so you can't dash. And then it'll make it so your jumps suck and your dashes are terrible. So basically it restricts your movement like crazy. But if you dash away from it... Oh, this is his attack, by the way. The Magnet Mine. He never actually uses it for some reason. Charge it up and it's a mini black hole. And you can actually control it moving up and down. But as I was saying, you can actually avoid his uh, Venom. You can shake out it if you're low enough on health. Or if he's high enough on health. Sorry, what am I talking about? If he's high enough on health, you can shake out of the, uh, out of the uh, Venom. And if you're not, you can always dash away, and the momentum from your dash will keep you from moving to him too quickly. Alright, well, there are a lot of outtakes. Sorry for the rambling. <laughs> and there are a few extras, so enjoy all that. It's extras time! If you didn't get hit by any of the spotlights, you can grab a heart container thanks to this immobile blecker. If I can jump this just right... Oh, come on. It's a very, very close jump. Come on. Come on, X. You can do it. Oh, come on, I... There we go. Ugh, that was more trouble than it was worth. And we get a heart container. Next, we want to move through these installers. Quickly and casually. Same as usual. Except this time, you want to go through them quickly. And then wait, because that one there is important. If I do this just right... Alright, perfect. Sub-tank! And that's everything. No capsule in this stage, so uh, on to the outtakes. And these are barrier attackers. Hit them with a dash shot or a charge shot, and they'll bash into you. And do not touch these spotlights, because, well, they're the sensors for this area, and those... that, that will happen. These are installers. The purple one is destroy a bull, and I missed that jump terribly. The purple ones can be destroyed, as I just demonstrated, and wow. Okay. Alright, come on, give me the other attack. Oh, are you serious? I can't even hit you very well with this one. Oh, and he got me from the side. Bummer! He has two attacks, and here's his worst one. Especially at close range, it's kind of hard to avoid sometimes. Oh, speaking of which... Ugh, case in point. Move up, and lead him. No, didn't lead him. Ah, crud, I timing terribly! You want to lead him up and then down. And he's doing it again. It's a lot harder when he's close to you, but when he's a little bit further away, you can dodge a bit better. And he's doing it again. Show me your other attack. I like it. It's easier to avoid. Come on. Be a pal, man. Is he doing it now? Now he's doing it. Okay. Uh, that was too close for comfort anyway. He finally does the easy one, and I get hit by it. Jerk. Wait one. Move up, lead him there, and then move down. Okay, good. Oh, good. Here's his easy to avoid one. What? Uh. Mm. I hate it when I do that. Here, you want to hug the right side, and then time this just right. And okay, I got hit. Crud. Uh, that makes this a bit harder. Moving forward, anyway. 
I apologize for getting hit by that spotlight, but I made it anyway, so I guess... Yeah, this guy will upgrade himself, depending on how many radars you get hit by. First he turns blue, and then I think he turns red. I honestly don't know what happens after red, I've never been hit by that. Are you serious? Okay, yeah, I saw that coming. Not much to say about them. You can only destroy the... I accidentally used a charge shot. Oh, well. You can destroy the purple ones, but the other ones will just crush you. And I got a 1-up. I wonder if that had anything to do with my charge shot. Technically, I broke the cluster only clause, but, I mean... Though, if the kid really wants me to see me, if this is a successful run, I'm still gonna count it, come on. And the boss, Chop Register. He's a little holographic sword. He tries to, well, chop you. More like lunges, though. Ah, good. He's got two attacks, and this is the easier one to avoid. And he's doing it again. He'll just lunge at you quickly, but come on, it's not too hard to avoid. Here's his other attack. If he manages to get it on me... Okay, he didn't even get to. He will kind of slice at you and then, uh, then lunge at you. Here, you want to hang right? Climb it, and then move down that way. You gotta avoid those spotlights. If you get caught by the spotlight, these blocks will be falling before you get here. So you'll probably either get hit by them or have to wait for them. Oh, what? I hit the wrong... Um... Um... This wasn't my intention, but, uh, do you, anyone want to fight an X hunter Let's see what I can do. Hell, why not? I'm up for it. This is Sergis. I am Sergis, and I am... I cannot allow you to stop the unification. It is for the good of all. I'm probably gonna get hit, because I've actually never fought this guy. Oh, come on. Okay, yeah, I thought so. Um, yeah. <laughs> I guess this isn't a fight with Magnus Centipede, then. Now we've clearly been detected, and we get to see what those little blocks were. They're called Bleckers, and they shoot little lasers at you. Oh, wow. Oh, I feel dumb. Oh, man. Lower than half health, there will be three of them, so you only have one place to avoid instead of the usual two. And sometimes you only have no place to avoid. And he's just doing this a lot. Okay. That's fine by me. Oh, I didn't dash fast enough. Bummer. You little pest. Okay, good, that one was possible. Sometimes if they're all above you, you can't actually dodge it if they're on the top and sides. Oh, dear, I hate those shurikens, I tell ya. And this is his, uh, Venom drainy move. Let me show you what happens if you get caught by it. You want to avoid it, and then you're slightly invincible for a short period of- You bastard! As you may have noticed, most of my outtakes came from the stage here. The boss only had about three or four, so how's that affect his score? Magna gets a four out of ten. His stage was pretty difficult, I compare it to Wheel Gator, but as a boss, he really wasn't all that bad. Once I learned how to dodge the shurikens and his venom, it was fairly smooth sailing. The stage is where all my main problems came from. Taking out the barrier attackers while avoiding the spotlights, getting past that first attack of chop register is the real issue, and then the second set of spotlights followed by those falling blocks. If you get hit by the spotlights there, those blocks are probably going to hit you too. It's all fairly difficult. It's really similar to Wheel's Gator stage in terms of difficulty. The main ideas are polar opposites, one stealth, the other speed. But, in terms of actual how difficult it was to get through, they were about the same. The reason Magna gets a 4 and not a 5 is because he's not that hard. Wheel Gator isn't exactly a nightmare boss, but he at least managed to end my runs quite a few times. Magna, not so much. If I got to the end, I had a darn good chance of making it to the boss, and through the boss. I hope you enjoy the videos, and I hope you tune in next time. This is Kevil, signing off. Ciao!